This model will come with three 128 gigabyte M SATA drives in RAID 0. So we ran Crystal Disk, Mark, to see the read-write speeds here. As you can see, they are right there in front of you. Read-write times are very similar to each other. Usually you see a lot higher of a read time, but a slower write time. Um, but seeing pretty equal numbers here, 786.5 for the read and 706 for the write. And again, that was on Crystal Disk Mark. I went ahead and ran ATTO Disk Benchmark as well to see if we get the same numbers. And right along those higher numbers, yeah, we do. So uh, you can see right there the read-write times uh, in megabytes per second is going to be right around the same, uh, about 765 megabytes per second or so. So really fast read-write times as we would expect from MSATA drives, that SSD type technology. And this does also include uh, one terabyte hard disk drive for storage. All right, let's take a look at the boot times of the computer. It should be pretty quick. We do have the three 128 gigabyte MSATA drives in RAID 0. I'll go ahead and hit start on my phone and power at the same time. So we'll go three, two, one, go. And I'll do my best to stop this as soon as it hits the desktop. About 21 seconds is what we saw there. Uh, so pretty good read-write times. Not the worst, not the best, right in the middle. Kind of what we'd expect out of there. Showing our results of 3D Mark Fire Strike. Just a reminder, we are using NVIDIA GeForce GTX 860Ms, and there's two of them in there. They are in SLI. And the processor is the Intel Core i7 40. 860HQ, non-upgradable is the HQ model on there. For the score, we're looking at 4,496 graphics score, 5,630 physics score, 8,505, and a combined score of 1,398. Let's take a look at hardware monitor here. Uh, scroll up to the CPU temps here, and it's going to show all the cores on there. 97, 97, 98, 97, 98. So higher than ideal. Uh, maybe a, a good repacing with some better thermal compound could fix that for you. This is with the stock thermal compound. And then we're looking at the two GPUs here. There's one 860M, and you're seeing 77 degrees for that, and the other 860M at 85 Celsius on that. I also did have uh, MSI Afterburner just to verify those numbers, and they are the same, showing 77 and 85 between the two. Uh, so that's kind of our... Uh, 3D Mark Fire Strike results on there. Let's take a look at a couple others. Finished up running 3D Mark Ice Storm. Taking a look at the scores. Overall score 129,105. Our graphic score 282,328. And a physics score of 44,527. Uh, so, you know, these numbers are looking right on par where they should be. Let's look at the CPU temps again, same as before, higher than ideal, 96, 97, 98, but always do keep in mind the new i7 Haswell CPU architecture is made to deal with higher CPU temps than previous ones, but still they could be a little bit lower than that. GPU scores, uh, temps lower even now, 73 Celsius on GPU 1, 83 Celsius on GPU, GPU number 2, and uh, we'll verify that with MSI Afterburner. They read off the same sensor, so it's always going to show the same temps on there, but just to double check. Um, but performance rubber should be temps a little bit high on CPU and uh, pretty good temperatures on the GPU, actually. So let's run 3D Mark 11 and see if that changes anything up. All right, 3D Mark 11 is all finished up. You see in front of us here a score of 8,538. Graphic score, 9,768. Physics score, 7,093. And a combined score of 5,210. See if the temps were any different. We got hardware monitor pulled up here. Let's move this off where you can see it. And again, high temps, 97, 98, 99. GPU temps. Let's take a look here. Uh, we got 86 on one GPU, 93 on the other. So a little higher temps on the GPUs even on 3D Mark 11. 
So that'll take a look at our, uh, finish up our 3D mark results. Hopefully you get an idea of the performance with these three benchmarks that we've shown. I was going to finish up our look at the Aorus X7 V2 CF1. Hopefully, you got some ideas of its performance. If you'd like to know more about it, definitely check out our uh, version one review, which you'll find on our YouTube page. If you have any questions about it, contact us. It's sales at exotic PC is the email address. Phone number is 1 877 289 9684. We're available from 9 to 5.30 Central Time, and we also have live chat available during those hours as well. Of course, check out our website, www.exoticpc.com. That's X-O-T-I-C-P-C.com. Thanks.